Hello, you are in Google Sheets Basics video. And let's find out how to expand the VLOOKUP, make it autocomplete down the table. My plan is, number one, return single value. Number two, return multiple rows of result. And number three, make dynamic autocomplete VLOOKUP. So let's start. We are again in the VLOOKUP samples spreadsheet. Here are some names and here is a table. I want to return ages but I want to autocomplete them. First, we want to just return single VLOOKUP. Hit VL, then just hit tab key to autocomplete the formula. Search key is max, this is our name, which is predefined. Then VLOOKUP range is A to B, then hit comma, index is a number of columns, number two, H, Comma is sorted, false or zero. Close brackets, hit enter, this is the result. But I would like to make it from look from range F1 to range F7. F7, I will just type it in, hit enter, see the same result, but Magic happens just right now. Hit Control, Shift, and Enter at the same time, and you'll see that array formula appears around the original formula. Then hit Enter and see the result. Oh, we had also F7, so F7 doesn't is uh, not found, so we have an A result. This is okay. It's just okay. We may. Uh, we may just hit some name, paste some name here, and see the result. Beautifully pasted for us. So, uh, what is disadvantage of this method is what when we repeat some names in F column or just paste new names, uh, we will uh, have the same result from F1 to F7. But I would like to make some trick to make this formula with offset and find the exact number of rows I need to expand the formula. Let's start paste offset. Offset is double F, so be patient. Then cell reference is F1. Then offset rows, no offset rows, offset columns, no offset columns, then hey. Height is a key part of this formula. And in our case, it is 7. It's just number 7. Then close with brackets and see the result. The result is the same. We just made offset. And what is real power is instead of 7, we can count number of occurrences. So count A will do this for us. Count A from F to F. Don't forget to close brackets. And now we see our formula uh, might be correct. Hit enter. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> and then I'll make some formatting, good formatting, and uh, paste some new names down. And here you see auto expanded formula, just what we wanted. There is also a chance to expand your data. Look, let's. Uh, Paste here some name which is not in the original data you see in A. This means there is no tom in our table, but then we may just insert tom and it will work just alright. It just found the age of tom is two. And of course you also can make it with more than one column. Two hit comma. 3, hit comma, 4, and see the result is not expanded because we have only A to B uh, taken as our row data. But let's make it A to D and it will work just fine. Look at it. It's really amazing. Some formatting will help us to see the dates instead of numbers. And it's all right. Formula is just only here, so I don't like this bold and 
I will reset formula. I will reset the formatting, and you see, the formula is only here, and it expands down and right. So I guess you like this video, and see you soon.